So, you guys know that, uh, you know, usually there's a lot of YouTubers that do this. You know, usually you run out of uh, topics to do on commentaries and stuff like that. Well, today, today is something completely different. Today I have too many topics, believe it or not. I'm, I'm not even lying. I will not be able to talk about everything that I want in one single video. But, what I'm gonna do today, and uh, it's gonna be my kind of first try at it, not really, because... I already do it with live stream highlights. I'm gonna start editing my videos differently and like uh, you guys know that uh, a lot of people have been doing this so you can kind of say that I'm copying other people but not really because I've done this before as well. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna start doing like playing two, three games just talking about whatever. I mean, uh, it's basically just about the commentary, you know, I can... Uh, Guid does this, Jeff does this, uh, I know Adapt does it as well. And uh, there's a lot of other people that do it, and there's a reason why everybody's doing it. It's because they're the best way to do some sort of uh, commentary slash live commentary out there uh, right now. And uh, I thought I might, uh, you know, I might give it a go and, and start doing it as well. Why are you trickshotting? So yeah, uh, that was definitely the first thing that I wanted to get out of the way. Was, uh, you know, explaining, you know, the different type of video. Explaining that I'm gonna start doing that now and uh, that actually gives me more freedom to talk about whatever and not really care about the gameplay which is kind of important when you want to get commentaries about some specific stuff but you're getting unlucky with the game. So the big thing right now, okay, today is I don't know what day, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you but E fucking 3, okay, Halo, oh my god, damn. That's, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. I am a big Halo fanboy and my mind was blown yesterday. It was blown yesterday. It was so amazing and I'm so excited for the future with Halo. It's gonna be amazing. In my opinion, I think it's gonna be amazing. Yesterday, you know, as E3 was going, I was honestly just spamming on Twitter. If you, if you follow me on Twitter, you know that yesterday was just a bunch of spammerino non-stop about everything that was going on at E3 because to be honest with you it was what everyone was watching and it was actually kind of interesting the fact that like just during all the spam I kind of like renewed 30 followers I legitimately lost 30 followers and gained 30 new followers which is in my opinion awesome because you know the ones that unfollowed me clearly don't understand me and the ones that do followed me clearly you know are in the same uh, uh, line of uh, sense of humor, I guess we could say. But, but, there was this thing, okay, on, on, on Twitter, and I noticed it a lot. I don't know why I missed that headshot, but, yeah, there was this thing that was going around because the Halo hype was real, okay? The Halo hype was definitely real, and they were like, oh my god, Call of Duty is gonna die, Halo's gonna come back, or, you know, the Call of Duty fanboys, you know, saying... Uh, Halo will never get big, COD will never die, and stuff like that. And it's like, why does one have to die for the one, for the other one to get big? Don't get me wrong, you know. Uh, 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 Halo got big, and then it toned down, and after that, Call of Duty went huge, right? But um, let, let's take an example at other areas, right? Still in the video game side, though. Uh, if you look at League of Legends, okay? League of Legends is a MOBA game. You got League of Legends and you got Dota 2. You know, it's two of the same type, right? Two MOBAs and uh, they're both really successful. There's really nothing that I can say about them, but they're both really, really successful. Fucking Riot Shielder, dude. So, with this new Halo hype, people gotta understand that this might mean, right? This might mean that for the first time, console we'll have two big FPS games. Am I excited for it? Hell yeah, I'm gonna buy an Xbox One when all of that Halo stuff drops, uh, definitely. Uh, I'm very excited for it. And to be honest, hopefully you are too. And uh, if you watch my live stream, uh, I'm pretty sure you can, you can expect Halo content once all of that drops because in my opinion, it's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be beautiful. So many memories to record and uh, it's gonna be nice, man. It's gonna be a nice game. 